All right, now to some breaking news. An investigation into a sexual assault at a residential treatment center for teenagers has now led to charges. The WLWT has been leading the way on this investigation at Hillcrest Academy for weeks now. Karen Johnson's been all over it. This afternoon, a former employee of the residential treatment center was indicted. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live right now. Springfield Township Police Department with the very latest. Karen. Well, good evening again, Mike. 49 year old Francine Thomas was indicted this afternoon on one count of, unlo of, of unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. The alleged victim, who was 15 at the time, was a resident of Hillcrest Academy where Thomas worked. Late this afternoon, Hillcrest did release a statement to me saying the incident was first reported by Hillcrest Academy to county and state officials and the former employee who passed all background checks and training requirements was immediately terminated. Hillcrest Academy continues to support the youth, his family and our partners in the community. Specific details of the alleged crime have not been released, but there was fallout from the investigation soon after. But soon after police got involved, Hamilton County Juvenile Courts held an emergency hearing and the courts, along with Job and Family Services, ended up pulling 18 kids from the program. Last update we received from the county was 32 kids remained at Hillcrest, boys who had been placed there from agencies in other counties or other states. The county also announced it intends to terminate its contract with Rite of Passage, which operates the 88 acre campus. But not everyone supports that move. We spoke exclusively with volunteers and former teachers who have criticized that decision, saying without the service Hillcrest provides, more kids and teenagers could end up in jail or on the streets. Now, I have been checking all afternoon, checking with the Hamilton County Justice Center. And as of my last check about five minutes ago, Thomas is not yet listed as an inmate. Reporting live in Springfield Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.